up guys? I'm from Brainvis.com. Been away for a while, uh, the summer's coming, I got a lot of work to do outside, and I'm also redoing my workshop, so I'll show you that very soon. Uh, today we're going to look at a way to use uh, multiple I2C modules that share the same address. And what I mean by that, if you look at these modules here, we've seen this one and this one, this is the LCD backpack, and this one has dip switches to actually uh, change the I2C address in case it would conflict with this one. This one has little pads that you can solder. Now, if you look at the D screen, we've used these screens before, they're very popular. If you switch them around, there's nothing in there to actually change the address. That's because most of these screens come with hard-coded I2C addresses. So, how do you use multiple of these using an Arduino? Let's say you want to have player scores 1 and 2, and they share the same address. You're going to need a board called an I2C multiplexer. So that's what we're gonna look at today. So let's go look at the code and then we'll test it out and we'll be right back. All right, so let's go quickly to uh, through the code we're gonna use today. Uh, we're including the libraries at the beginning that we're gonna use and then we're defining the address of the I2C multiplexer. Uh, by default, it's at uh, 0x70. And if you look on that board, it has three pins, A0, A1, and A2. Those, if you don't connect anything, they're, uh, they're low. Uh, by default and that gives us this address right here uh, but you can put them high and play around with it to change the address i think up to 77 so that's the way you would change the address on that board uh, then we have two tax switches one will select which oled we want to work on work with and the other one will increase a counter on that selected oled uh, then a couple of variables to keep track of stuff and here we're initializing the multiplexer library using the 0x70 that we put here a couple of variables to keep track of counters. And here we're initializing each OLED display using I2C. Uh, but if you look here, it's not an address. It's because most of these modules that have fixed address, the address is fixed at 0x3C. Uh, so the UHG library knows this and it's hard coded inside a file of this library. Now, if you're using a different uh, OLED display that doesn't have that particular address, you're going to need to edit a file inside the library. So we're going to go check out which file you need to edit and then we'll be right back. All right, so if your modules that you're using, the I2C modules you're using, don't have the default address of 0x3c, you will have to edit this file inside the UHG library. And here's the path where you will find the, the file. And the file is uhg underscore com underscore i2c dot c. So you open that to edit, and then it's near the end of it. You'll see it here, right there. So at define I2C underscore SLA, as you can see, by default, it's 0x3C. So you would edit that to reflect the I2C address of the modules you're using, save the file, and then it would work. So now let's go back to the code and continue. All right, so let's continue with the code. Uh, each one of the tag switches uses input pull-up resistors on the Arduino. Uh, I've made a video on that. If you want more information on how this works, you can check it out right there. If you need to rotate your display 180 degrees, you just uncomment this line right there. Then I'm selecting which font I'm going to use on each one of the OLED displays. And here is where we're starting to use the I2C multiplexer board. Uh, we're, I'm switching to bus 2, and if you look on the board, there's 8 buses uh, numbered 0 through 7. Now, I'm switching to bus 2, which is where my first OLED is connected, and I'm setting the brightness to 100. Uh, in this testing, we'll see I'm changing the brightness to indicate which one is being selected. So, if it's bright, it's selected. If it's dimmer, it's not. So, now I have this selected, and I'm going to put some stuff on it at the beginning. Then when it's done, I'm going to switch to bus 7, which is where my second OLED is connected, putting the brightness to zero or dim, and then displaying stuff on that OLED. Now, once it's finished, I'm switching back to bus 2. So basically the way it works, when you switch to a bus, it kind of makes a direct connection between your Arduino and the module that's connected to that bus. So every time uh, you send I2C commands, it will send it directly to that module on that bus. And then we get to the main loop. So if I click the tag switch to select between OLEDs, it's going to check first which OLED it is on right now. It's going to set its brightness to zero, so dim it down from 100. Then I'm switching to the number seven bus and putting the brightness up on that one. Now, if it's the other way around, it will do the other uh, way around here. 
Last thing is that if I click the tax switch to increase the counter, it checks which OLED is selected now. It's going to increase the counter for it and display that information. And if it's the second one or the other one, it's going to increase that counter for it and display the information right there. So there you go. That's the whole code. So let me upload that and let's go test it out. All right, so here's the setup. We have our Uno, we have the I2C multiplexer right here, and we have our two OLED screens right there. They share the same address like we talked about. And this is to select which one we want to use, and this is to increase the counter. So let me plug in the Uno and test it out. All right, there we go. I don't know if you can see on camera, but this one is brighter, and this one is a little bit dimmer. So if I press this one, then this one is brighter, so that's the one we're going to use first. So let's increase the counter a little bit. And there we go, that works. So let me select the other one. This one now is brighter. And I'm controlling the counter on this one. And so on and so on. And I can go between them as I want. All right, so there you go, guys. If you have uh, I2C modules that share the same address uh, and they are fixed, that means that you can't change them, then using the I2C multiplexer here enables you to use multiple of these guys if you want up to eight of them. So hopefully that helps. Uh, now let's go back to the main camera and wrap things up. All right, so that'll do it for today, guys. Hopefully you found this interesting. Don't forget to check out my website if you want more information. I have the uh, libraries used and the code if you want to copy and paste and a little bit more information if you want it. Uh, also, I'm going to be working a lot in the workshop this summer, so I'm going to try to bring you guys along on what I'm working on and make videos along the way. And uh, yeah, so I have a bunch of other projects uh, coming up as well. So uh, as always, my name is Ivan, and hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.